Today we are going to solve another problem regarding thermal expansion. Uh, I'm going to post this problem in a uh, written form down in the description so you can pause the video and solve it uh, by yourself and then come back to the video and check if your answer is correct. Okay, so I'm going to read the problem now and then we're going to, to solve it together. Okay, so we have at uh, 20 degrees Celsius an aluminium ring has an inner diameter of uh, 5 centimeters and a brass rod has a diameter of 5.05 centimeters. Uh, Andre, if only the ring is warmed, wh uh, what temperature must it reach so that it will just slip over the rod? Andre B, what if? If both the ring and the rod are warm together, what temperature must they both reach so that the ring barely slips over the rod? And under C, would this uh, latter process uh, work? Explain. Okay, so we have... We have here a brass uh, rod and an aluminum ring around it. And we have the diameters of both of them and we have three three questions for which we have to solve <clears throat> okay so let's see what we have let's say that t1 is equal to 20 degrees celsius so that's the initial temperature dal is the uh, diameter of the aluminium ring which is 5 centimeters and for D we are going to say that that's the diameter of the uh, brass rod which is 5.05 centimeters then first we are going to solve it under A so we are looking for T2 which is the temperature if only the ring is heated up and the ring has to slip off the the brass rod okay so since we have all of these values we can solve it also the coefficient for thermal expansion of aluminium is equal to 24 point times 10 to the power of minus 6 degrees Celsius total power of minus 1 and of brass is 19 times 10 to the power of minus 6 degrees Celsius to the power of minus 1 ok now we can solve it solve the problem under A so we have that the change in the diameter of the aluminum ring will be equal to the brass ring, the brass, the diameter of the brass rod minus the diameter of the aluminum ring, and that's uh, delta d al or the the increase in the diameter of the aluminum ring. We can write that as t two minus t one times alpha al times d al okay so if we express this in terms of t we're going in terms of t2 we're going to get t2 is equal to t1 plus d minus d al over d al times alpha al and if we calculate this for t2 we're going to get that t2 is equal to around 436.67 degrees celsius so this is under a if only the aluminium rod if the aluminium ring is heated up okay so i think that now we can solve it under b so under b both the rod and the ring are heated up we have to find the temperature at which 
the aluminium ring can slip off the brass rod. Okay, so basically since both the ring and the rod are heated up, we can say that in order for the ring to slip off, the their diameters have to be equal. So this is the first case, but of course if the if the diameter of the aluminium ring is even higher, is even bigger, then the aluminium ring would slip off easily. But this is the the case that you were given that if both are the same. So in this case the aluminium ring can barely slip off the brass rod. Okay, so we can say that if both when they're uh, heated, uh, after they're heated, both have the same diameter. So we can say that the AL will be equal to 1 plus delta T times AL and this is equal to, uh, let's see, this is equal to D or the initial diameter of the brass rod and this is the initial diameter of the aluminum ring times 1 plus delta T times alpha. Okay, now we have to find T2. So what we can do is if we express uh, delta T on the left side, we will get that this is equal to D minus D AL or D AL times alpha AL minus alpha times D and now let's see if I make some room here we will get that T2 is equal to T1 plus D minus DL DL times alpha L minus D times alpha okay and for if you replace the values for T2 we're going to get 20 plus 0 0.05 120 times 10 to the power of minus 6 minus 95.95 times 10 to the power of minus 6 and for T2 we're going to get approximately 2.1 to the power of times 10 to the power of 3 degrees Celsius. And to answer the question under C, will this work? Is this possible? Well, basically this is not possible since the, mel the melting point of brass is around 900 degrees Celsius and this is much much higher. So we have calculated the temperature under B, but to answer the question under C, will this work if both the aluminium ring and the brass rod are heated? And the answer is no.